<laughs> a little bit, I am. Are you, I, I, I am. So. Yeah. Reason why, because I'm an actor of his company. Oh, you are? Video production right. company called Mental Crush Entertainment. He's the CEO and we video tape like comedy. Oh, that's great. Okay. You doing? Still recording. recording. Still filming. <laughs> the artist painted this. Oh, so. You did the artist. Yeah, painted this. Let's yeah. do this. This is Jay Serial from Mental Crash Entertainment, and I'm gathered with a guy that's involved with, as you see, all of these drawings. <music> and all you see, back in Batman, you got Avengers. Would you like Captain to America, tell us? Superman, would you like to tell the viewers your name? Sure. I'm Russell Rainbolt, and I am an oil painter, and I do a little bit of pen and ink drawing and stories as well. But comic books has been my favorite. Uh, and you know, who's your favorite character? My favorite character, I think Thor is one of my fa all-time favorites. I, if I were going to be somebody, sometimes I think I'd wish I could be Thor. But you know, I yeah. need a little more. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little more, a little more. more. Yeah, CGI is okay. I can oh, I can live with that. <laughs> now, what? Tell us the process that goes into making these masterpieces that I think are masterpieces. Um, I basically work out a small sketch or something like that. I daydream. I, I literally like will like nap on the couch and just sort of sit there and like think up ideas and whatever. And then I get these visions. You know, uh, read comic books. That's obviously one of the things that it's the inspiration and I, part of it is me too I mean if I were Batman I think the coolest thing would be to be over Gotham and like jumping out over the city just that feeling of like going down you know and, and whatever so that's that's the idea and um, I take it and basically um, start drawing now start sketching out what material do you use for these yeah it, this is a this is a canvas this is oil on canvas. Uh, I'll do a light drawing or a light sketch in uh, oils to get the basics going. And uh, every painting is like three paintings. I do a basic underpainting sketch, then I come in with a modest, modest amount of detail, and then I come back in and basically sit down and do this number where I just literally go over. You know, see, like yes. a little skeleton in here? Yes. Little things, you know, crazy stuff, whatever. But that in the windows over here, where I will sit and like work every detail. But What's the uh, time that it takes to go into every paint? It's like maybe three to four weeks, but we're talking. Three to you know, four weeks? Yeah. But we're talking 40, 50, maybe 60 hour weeks. I mean, oh, I have an in home okay. studio and whatever. It's a walkout basement. Yeah. And I go down, hang out, I do eight hours, spend some time with the family. They go to bed nine o'clock till like one or two in the morning, maybe three. I go hang out, paint. You know, I get to a level to where I say, Batman works, there's enough detail in the background, it's sweet right here, if you leave it alone, it'll be okay. And that's that's how I stop. How long have you done time. this? Oh, probably like 25, 30 years now at this point. I, I worked commercially before that, I did illustrations, I painted large scale billboards, uh, I did digital design work, although I had a hard time sitting in front of a computer. I like standing up. Oh, know, yeah. For me, it's all it's a physical. It's all. Active. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Is there any future characters that you look at and say, "I want to do this"? You know, a lot of it is uh, part of the thing is I have ideas for characters of my own and things that I want to work with and possibly tie into either Marvel or DC or other universes and things. And any character and that you want, like that you created, that you want to put out there. Right now, most of this stuff is in my head, and I'm actively working to market it out. I think if I told out some ideas, I might find them in print before I did it. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. and stuff, but that's it. I mean, I did recently have a story published in the Creeps magazine, okay. which is a new magazine that came out a couple of years. It's based on the Warren comics of the 1960s and 70s. And they're doing an absolutely cool job of like reviving that tradition. And I have, these are, uh, this is some of the oh. ink work that I did yes. for this story, and it's printed in issue number five as dinner for two. Okay. So you know that's 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 honestly that's what I do in my spare time while this is drying. Yes. 
because oil painting sometimes you do a decent amount of stuff and you can't touch it because yeah. it's it's wet. So you do you have any gloves? Yeah. No, 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 no. Or just all yeah. hands? Yeah. Wow. Anybody that's into oil painting, what you want to tell them that it's difficult, but once you get past it, it's smooth. Like something yeah. that you think about constantly, because I bet this is a huge process. Anybody who wants to get into it, they have to understand that it's not easy. Right. Like what is one thing that's really hard for you that you always have to go through in order to get it? One of, the, one of the strange secrets about oil painting is the stuff that oil paints are different thicknesses. One color is thicker than another. So the trick with oil painting is, is looking at colors that are like thick, like the maple's yellow and whatever, and using that color to kind of move around because there's others like lizard and crimson that are really thin. And getting the thick and thin to mix the right way is a bit nuts. But really the secret is most of my paintings are three paintings. There's the beginning painting that gets most of the detail where you want it, but you don't work it all out. You just kind of let it go loose and easy, you know, like a sketch. Then you come back in, you get the details in, but you only get about half or three quarters of it. I mean, you see these windows? I didn't do every single detail in these windows because Batman, the focus is like in here. You let this part just be easy. He's dropping, so these windows can blur a little bit, you know? So you kind of think through the stuff. I mean, but the real... The real bottom line is, think about what kind of emotion you want to put into it. Try to feel that while you're doing it. I mean, that's that's something. But, it, you know, it is like carpentry. Yeah. You just have to keep working it and working it, and it'll it'll get there. And uh, don't be afraid to just go crazy with it sometimes. Is there a website that you have that sh where you have your paintings for sale, or do you come to conventions only and sell your work? The conventions is the main avenue that a venue that I have for things I'm working on putting together a website but every time I sit down and try to work with somebody on putting together the website I turn around pick up a brush and keep painting <laughs> so I have to spend my time actually you know putting it up. but I do Russ Rainbolt R-U-S-S R-A-I-N-B-O-L-T dot com uh, is the website and uh, you can friend me on Facebook and, all that stuff. and what's Quick. your friend what's your uh, Facebook link for the viewers it's Russ Rainbolt Thank you very much yeah, for the thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Love the paintings. Yeah, thanks. Just in case they want to see you and see this work that you just amazingly have, like massive. Well, like any future conventions that you're going to be out. Yeah. This, this is actually an exclusive. Oh, uh, wow. But Rhode Island Comic Con hired me to do a portrait of Stan Lee, who's going to be at Rhode Island Comic Con in November. Uh, what is it? The week, first week of November, I believe. The 8th or 10th or something like that. And it's a it's a ten by ten foot of Stan, and that that that's the first time I've let that cat out of the bag. But that's that's the yeah. so this is the next. So that's my next. That's my next. Yeah. Thank you very much for this. It's a pleasure. This is Jay Steele from Mental Crush and Entertainment. Over and out. See you, Jay.